Another shot was fired today in the political battle between Westchester County District Attorney Janet DeFiore and controversial Yonkers newspaper publisher Sam Zerka. Zerka filed two more lawsuits against DeFiore and her staff as the district attorney gets set to seek a third term in office next year. News 12's Tara Rosenblum joins us with more on the story. Tara. And Janine, this time Sam Zerka and his lawyers are going as far as to demand the resignations of Janet DeFiori along with her chief of investigations. The DA's response, these lawsuits are nothing more than a frivolous waste of taxpayer money. It's fraudulent, unethical, not righteous. Newspaper publisher and strip club owner Sam Zerka is going after Westchester's district attorney Janet DeFiori once again, this time filing two more lawsuits against the two-term Democrat and her staff. The first claiming that DeFiori owes taxpayers roughly $200,000. That's how much the county paid in legal fees for DeFiori when Zerka sued her back in 2008. Zerka had claimed DeFiori made threatening remarks to him after he published a scathing article about her husband, but the judge tossed out the case. Unless Westchester County government is in the business of paying all legal fees for private citizens, what Janet DeFiori did is fraudulent. David Korlbach is Zerka's lawyer. So once again, we have this cloud of suspicion, a lack of public confidence in the integrity of the office of Janet DeFiori, we cannot have the fox watching the hen house. The target of the second lawsuit is DeFiori's chief of investigations, Terrence Rayner. Zerka claims Rayner was illegally taking tax exemptions on two properties. And he must resign. Must resign. In a statement released to News 12, DeFiori fired back, saying Zerka's lawsuits are all politically motivated. They come on the heels of allegations that DeFiori used her influence to get her former nanny welfare benefits. All this just months before her reelection campaign gets underway. Well, Zerka says these lawsuits have nothing to do with politics. Some people are questioning the timing and the fact that Zerka and DeFiori have been at odds since 2009. That's when DeFiori lost the backing of the Independence Party. Janine. Yeah, as, as, and what else is the DA saying about this? She released a lengthy statement but mm. didn't go on camera. Tara. She didn't want to go on camera, but she did release that statement to us earlier this afternoon. She said in that statement that she basically called these lawsuits meritless and she expects them to be thrown out like the others. She also said it's hypocritical that Zerka brings the lawsuits against elected officials and then on the other hand complains about the taxpayer expense. Zerka wouldn't agree with any of that. Jane. Probably not, but it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out in court. Yeah, all back right. in court again. Yep, back mm -hmm. to court. All right, Tara, mm -hmm. thank you very much.